the a Leaf Taylor Lions enjoying a week off after a hard-fought start to 7-0, and and most importantly, 3-0 and in district play. And here to talk about his unbeaten Lions is the head coach of the A Leaf Taylor Lions. We are joined by Coach Brian Randall. Coach, how are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Good. How are things in beautiful A Leaf? It's hot. It's Houston. <laughs> it was a humid day today, but we're, we're fighting through. We're uh, battling. Absolutely. And so you guys are off to a 7-0 and start, and, and you have the... I think unusual late bye week. Here you guys are, uh, you know, we're, we're about halfway through October and you guys are finally getting a week off after uh, seven consecutive weeks. What are what are your goals? What are you attempting to accomplish uh, it, during this bye week? Well, uh, it was kind of planned, to be honest. Like, if you, go, if you go eight weeks in, then we have eight more weeks left to play. And that's what we're, that's the whole concept. That's what we're trying to get. And we're trying to instill in the children that we're, we're planning for 16 weeks. I know that's a lofty goal, but that's what the plan was going in. So this is like a little halftime for us, a halftime. And we, we did some yoga and doing different things for the kids that, that we haven't done around here in the past in a bye week just to get their bodies back and get their legs back underneath them. Did you say yoga? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I did. So, so you've got, to be clear... You've got a, a, a room full of 16, 17, 18-year-old guys who are spending a lot of time in the weight room yelling and screaming and hitting each other, and they're doing yoga? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was it was something new, um, and we, we gave it a shot. And the boys, it was funny because you know, yoga's tough. If, yeah. if you haven't ever done it, it's, it's yeah. tough. It's challenging. But it's, it's so good for the body and just getting that stretch and getting that bend and, and trying to get them out of the same – you know, things can get just the same old grind, like the everyday grind, and we just want to kind of switch it up a little bit and throw something new at them and see how they handle it. And they actually handled it well. That's awesome. I can I can understand it. Uh, so I want to talk a, a little bit about your squad uh, off to a great start, and I want to go back a couple of weeks. With all due respect to, to Ailey Felsick, that 68-7 to win – uh, was uh, is is not exactly the kind of compelling talk that that uh, that we're looking for. But your win over Pearland, uh, a squad that you knew you would have to go through to win a district title, uh, to come out with a 19 to 14 win uh, over over the Oilers. What did that say about your team? What uh, what what does that do for your team's confidence? Well, well, first off, you know, I got to tip my hat to Tony Heath mm-hmm. and the Pearland Oilers. They're, they're a great football team, well coached. They've always have been a ton of tradition, but to win and to beat a Pearland is is big. It's big for the kids because now they they can understand and they start believing in what we're trying to do around here. Absolutely. And this defense, you are a defensive guy. This is your first year as a head coach promoted from the defensive coordinator spot. Your defense has really been the shining star uh, of this squad. Uh, you guys are, are really uh, crushing people out there. Has it lived up to your expectations so far? Yes. Yes and no. We still have we have room to grow. And last year, we had the best defense in the history of the school, mm-hmm. in the entire school. So that's the goal. So every year we just try to take it up a notch. Every year we just try to take it up a notch. So this year is not any different. So the boys know that we're trying to be even stingier than we were last season. So We're talking with Brian Randall, the head coach of the Ailey Taylor Lions here on DCTF Live. Uh, Con- in conjunction with our friends at Atavis Rugby Tackling. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. Uh, coach, one of the stars of your defense, uh, big defensive tackle, Kobe Whiteside, a guy that I, I think before before the year kind of surprisingly was not getting the kind of re- recruiting attention that personally I think he, he has deserved. As the guy, and as a defensive guy, and as a guy who, who watches this kid week in and week out, what can you tell us about Kobe Whiteside? Kobe Whiteside is a grown man. <laughs> He's the hardest working individual I've ever been around. The kid is a gym rat. Great kid. Yes, sir. No, sir, kid. It, it, it's hell trying to get him off the football field. Like, he, he he wants to practice every day. Like, Kobe, you're, you're nicked up. You need to sit out. No, coach, I, I want to go. And he really means it. He's so genuine. Like, it's just it's hard to get him off the field. He squats. 600 pounds, he's a 405 bench press. If he was taller, I think every school in America would be on him. I think that's the only thing killing him in his height. But 
he reminds me of a Casey Hampton type type uh, football player. And th- what what strikes me about your defense, if you look up and down, it seems like you've got a lot of seniors. You've got a lot of guys who have been in this program. How important is it uh, to have that kind of senior leadership on your defensive side? A huge, huge senior senior leadership is, in all honesty, I think is one of the reasons why we're having so much success mm-hmm. because the kids know and they're buying in. We went through boot camp last year, and we you know we set the tone early last season about taking care of business, being responsible for self. And every day I let them know, you know, this is your team. This isn't this isn't Coach Randall's team. This isn't the football coach's team. This is your team. The seniors team. It's your legacy. Take ownership and, and run the show. That's that's exactly what I think all coaches are trying to instill and it looks like you guys are doing it uh, better than most. On the offensive side, uh, really the the headliner here has been your quarterback, Dante Warren, a guy who's taking care of the football, 17 touchdowns against just one interception. Uh, he's also a talented runner as well. What can you tell us about uh, about your signal caller? Um, Dante's a great kid. Mm-hmm. Dante's a great kid. He's responding well. Um, we throw a lot at him. We throw a lot at him. Uh, our OCs are doing a great job with him. And he's starting to really, really just listen. And the biggest thing is listening and trusting your receivers and trusting what the coaches are telling you, and, and we'll be fine. He's, he's growing. He's growing. Now, I'm not sure who calls the plays for you guys, but is there a play that is just called throw it up to Brennan Eagles? <laughs> because you've got a wide receiver in Brennan Eagles, just a junior, 6'4", 185 pounds, a giant out there, a mismatch, 29 catches, nearly 500 yards, eight touchdowns already. Uh, so is there a play like that in your playbook? <laughs> Well, there's one. There's there. There's there. They got a jump ball to, to Eagles. And you better have one. But there's there's a lot of it's a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball. To be honest with you, um, that's why I feel like this year could be very special, as long as we don't accept excuses from anybody, from coaches or players, and just getting these kids the ball and putting them in position to be successful. Because on the offensive side of the ball, you have the Eagles, you got Hadel, you got Myron Smith. You got uh, little Jesse Walker and Iman Powell. Mm-hmm. You got five guys that can they can go, mm-hmm. they can they can flat out get it, and we just got to give them the ball in space and let them do what they do. Uh, absolutely, and you start looking at district uh, district twenty three, uh, district twenty three six A, where you guys reside. You guys are past Pearland, but there are still. Hurdles on the horizon. Oh, yeah. On the horizon. It is. It is no no rest for the weary. You know, after you guys draw Hastings next week, it is back to back games uh, against uh, Perlin Dawson and and George Ranch, a defending state champ. I know they're a little. You know, they've they've taken a couple of losses this year, but still a talented squad. When you take a look at your district, District Twenty Three Six A, from your perspective, what do you see? A, a, a extremely extremely difficult district. A ton of talent and an extremely well coached district. Mm-hmm. When you look at all the wins with Coach Diatley, Coach Wells, Coach Heath, all those those guys are Lamar guys. Mm-hmm. You know, so they're not their success is isn't anything new to them. And Tony's had a ton of success in Pearland. So and then when you look at George Rant, hell they just won state. Mm-hmm. And and Coach Coach has done a great job with that bunch. So you just see a lot of great coaches and a lot of talent is what I see when I look at it. But you're absolutely right. Perlin Dawson is going to be a huge game. They have the number one offense in the district right now. We have the number one defense in the district, and it should be a, should be a show. We're, we're, we're looking forward to it. We've got to stay prayed up. Uh, absolutely. Now, I do want to ask you a little bit uh, about – um, the, I, I want to ask you a little bit about looking ahead. You mentioned that you put your bye week specifically here because this is the midway point of a 16-game schedule, which I think is, is very, very smart and sends the right message. Have you taken any look ahead to your potential playoff draw? We, right now, we project you guys to go to that just brutal Region 3 of the Division One bracket. Yeah. Has that crossed your mind at all? Yeah, we, we, we discussed it here and there, but... Right now, like you said, we still have Dawson and George Ranch ahead of us. We're, we're more concerned about them right now before we even take it to that next to that next level. Because you know, like I know, it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be going to be a tough road. It's going to be a tough road. But right now, the A Leaf Taylor Lions look like they are very prepared to travel it. He is Coach Brian Randall, the head coach 
of the A Leaf Taylor lines. Follow him on Twitter at Bri- at what is it? It's Brian Randall Brian Randall forty. Brian Randall forty. Yeah. Follow him on Twitter. He needs he needs Twitter followers. Coach, yeah. appreciate. <laughs> Coach, I'm just, appreciate. I'm just learning that Twitter thing, guys. I just, I just <laughs> <laughs> well, you, yeah, you're off to a good start. You're off to a good start. Appreciate your time, Coach. Yeah. Enjoy your week off and uh, good luck uh, in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.